All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron, and this is going to be a vlog, and we're going to be talking about a few things. Thanksgiving, War Thunder tanks, War Thunder big announcements, um, and guns. And how all of these are kind of interplaying together right now. Not necessarily in the most ideal relationship, but we will get to that. So, Thanksgiving's coming up tomorrow, Tuesday when I will be releasing this vlog, I will be driving at 5 a.m. to Mississippi. And in Mississippi, I have the option of going duck hunting in the Mississippi Delta, which is a very, very good spot. A bunch of spots, but a very good area for duck hunting. And you may be asking yourself, Baron, how are you going to shoot said ducks? But first of all, what happened to your head? Well, right here you can kind of see a little red mark. You may be thinking, was that, is that acne? What is that? No, the other day I went to an air show and uh, a Kai-10 was there and it had working guns and the Kai-10 actually went off and hit me in the head. And this is the result. This is what you can expect to see if you ever get shot by a Kai-10's machine guns. So that being said, we will get to the real guns, actual guns, guns that do damage. So if I was to go duck hunting in Mississippi, I would probably use this boy. And this, my friends, is a 12 gauge auto loader. So I don't have that satisfying, you know, pump. When I first got a shotgun, was looking to get one. I wanted a Remington 870. I wanted a pump. It's basically like the AK 47s of shotguns, how I like to think about it, in that it's cheap, durable, um, reliable, and it does what you need it to do and it's pretty powerful, although it's pump, and when you're dealing with waterfowl, 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 dyslexia for the win right there, when you're dealing with waterfowl, you want an auto loader, basically because more opportunity, it'd be like a plane with a faster firing rate, and there's, there's your, your quintessential motorcycle drive-by in a barren video, but so the auto loader's good. This is a Beretta Extrema 2, and I do have this here, and it's got six slots, so generally I like to put like three different types of shells, um, you know, slugs for rifled barrels. I've got some steel two-shot here. It's one and a quarter ounces of steel in a three-inch shell, so I'd have like the three-inch heavies, maybe some rifled slugs, and then maybe some like target shot just for fun, or maybe, um, something for something closer and lighter but anyway I've taken it trap shooting skeet shooting I haven't done sporting clays yet pretty good at trap I think the highest I've ever gotten is 23 haven't hit a perfect 25 yet though I have not been trap shooting in a long time and I will need to warm up so that is my shotgun it's pretty sweet cover your ears because so you don't have the pump but you do have this satisfying locking right there that may have been pretty loud but I warned y'all now something interesting about duck hunting when you go duck hunting there's two times in the day two times in the day that are good to basically hunt ducks when they're eating both when the Sun is rising and when the Sun is setting because that's when they go to eat you set up your decoys and everything like that and the whole thing is to lure them in basically you create a situation that when they're in the air they see these decoy duck um, some that look like they're in landing sequence or maybe some in the water and those duck think hey that's a safe spot to eat I'm gonna go land there and they do this thing which I found pretty interesting because not a long time ago in War Thunder I had a situation where I caught some planes with their landing flaps down. I said don't get caught with your landing flaps down. And what's interesting is with ducks, right as they're landing, their wings lock up. And that is when you want to shoot because if you miss or if there's a bunch of them, they cannot react nearly as quickly just as a plane who's in landing sequence and drops his landing flaps cannot react nearly as good at that low speed, you know, and basically wings in that setting and just like a duck who's landing as well. So it's pretty cool how those things are kind of similar. Now in the off chance I gotta go deer hunting, 
I've gone deer hunting once. I fired one shot and the deer dropped immediately, hit him right in the heart. It was a perfect shot, pretty awesome. Um, I'm not entirely sure like that every shot I, well I'm pretty certain that every shot I do after that, what was that, what is that? Ooh, I don't know, might be a salamander, might be another gun, which we'll show you, but when I went deer hunting it worked out pretty well. Venison's delicious. Um, I believe in sustainable hunting, so all of you, you PETA people out there. Have you seen that article on PETA? They like kill animals, like they kill dogs and cats and stuff. They just like burn them up. That is uh, some hearsay. You're going to have to, you're going to want to check that article out yourself. Just Google that. But I do have another gun. And that, my friends, is a deer rifle. Let's check this bad boy out. So one thing I like about this gun, and yeah, you can kind of see that is it's got a nice three to nine x scope it's a stevens rifle the wood is just beautiful in really good condition um it's a 30 out six so it has some real punching power and then i've got that scope on the top but if i don't want to use that if you look you can see that it's got some iron sights basically i can look down that in the space between you know the gun in the scope so it's really nice to be able to use that so if there's something close or you know a zombie apocalypse and something gets in close I have that um, so I'm not really gonna be able to go hunting out I'm, I'm not entirely sure I will be able to and why is that we are we were one of the talking points was uh, War Thunder tanks and War Thunder and that kind of stuff but there's no confirmed dates on anything. Nothing official as far as I've seen when War Thunder tanks come out, when War Thunder will be playable on the PlayStation. Other news sources and other people have said the 29th with the launch of, you know, uh, PlayStation around the world other than North America. But um, nothing from Gaijin, so it's like everything's up in the air. Now, I do understand those guys are working very, very hard over there you know 16 12 16 hour days um, are typical they're trying to put out something quick they're trying to meet deadlines but they want to put out a good product because there's a lot on the line they have a pretty um, entrenched and established competitor over at Wargaming so there's that uh, so but basically what that means is this Thanksgiving I may not be able to go on a two-day duck hunting trip because it will fall on the day after Thanksgiving which happens to be the 29th and the 30th and those could be pretty crucial days in our little microcosm you know in the YouTube and PC gaming world and PlayStation next-gen gaming world too with uh, PlayStation 4 launch and possibly even closed beta tanks purely speculative there have been some leaks and uh, I've been encouraged not to speculate because it would ruin Gaijin's thunder and given, well, anyone who, not me in particular, but anybody who leaks this stuff, kind of lets the cat out of the bag, like, little by little, you know, as opposed to just releasing the lion, and for the first time, pretty good analogy, right? But, uh, yeah, so I may not be able to go hunting, I may have to turn it down in order to do my duty for you all. So I hope you give thanks for that, since we're talking about Thanksgiving, I may be able to get some footage on some food. We might have a Baron's Bites that has to do with Thanksgiving food. We will have to see. I'm looking forward to that. Um, thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me shooting some guns. If you'd like to see that kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully we see some pretty big announcements this week from War Thunder. Anyway, that is a quick little vlog. We're looking at nine minutes now. Anyway, I'm Baron, and as always, thank you for watching. Ribsy's here. Where is everybody? I need medics. Yeah, I need I need bullets. All right. I got bullets. No, I don't. I got engineers. Fly, where are you at? I'm over. I'm, I'm working this bitch on the right. I have a med pack. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, give me a med pack. Run all the way over there. It's happening. Hey, watch out, there's fire coming at you. <laughs> oh, so epic. Oh, what? Oh, I switched classes. Uh, never mind, I have an RPG for you. <laughs> Fail! <laughs>